just like the sound of it. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into how I train and what I found works for me. So first of all I'm going to explain the way I train then why I do it. So first of all, uh, the way I train. The way I train is a combination of bodybuilding, powerlifting and endurance training. For compound movements, I maintain around 85% of my one rep max for all of my working sets. My working sets consist of five to eight reps, so small reps but large working sets, so about eight to 10, uh, with rest time varying between two to three minutes, depending on how I feel. I then superset that with an isolation exercise to really target the muscle group. Um, so say if I did bench, I'm going to do pec flies, maybe some press work as well, um, just to really target those three muscle group. This way it will be around 50 to 60% of my one rep max. Now for the method behind the madness. Why do I train like this? I don't know. Personally, I like not only to be able to lift heavy weight, but also lift them for a long period of time. Research suggests that training this way targets all three muscle fibers. It's used by people such as Callum Von Moga, Bradley Martin, Simeon Panda, uh, just to name a few. If you don't know who they are, maybe you should check out their channels. They do some awesome stuff after this video, of course. So now I'm going to explain the three muscle fibers and what their purposes are and how they work. So you have, first of all, type one muscle fiber. This is known as the slow twitch fiber. This muscle fiber is red because it contains high amounts of myoglobin, a protein that converts oxygen to energy, and mitochondria. Type 1 muscle fiber's primary function is to conserve the muscle's energy source by creating ATP, also known as adenosine triphosphate, which enables the muscle to convert oxygen to energy. Therefore, it is best used for movements that are performed over a longer period of time, such as standing, swimming, walking, bicycling, you know. Now we have type 2 muscle fibers. These are known as the fast twitch muscle fibers. These muscle fibers also contain myoglobin and mitochondria, but they differ from type 1 muscle fibers because at the same time, they make and separate ATP for aerobic and anaerobic muscle energy purposes. Therefore, it is best used when completing power movements such as jumping, boxing, powerlifting, or sprinting. The last muscle fiber is type 2B. This is known as the fast glycolytic fiber. It's white in color and contains a lower amount of myoglobin and mitochondria. Uh, because of this, it is more taxing on the body's energy source as it produces ATP slowly and burns it more quickly using their anaerobic energy system. Therefore, it is best used when weightlifting or throwing punches or doing anything really that requires a huge amount of power in a short amount of time. And last but not least, before I go and send you to watch this awesome montage, I'd like to thank my cameraman slash woman, Olivia. Um, she came along on Sunday and filmed uh, what you're about to see. I'd just like to say a huge thanks to her and enjoy the montage and I will lift you later. Yeah. Smash. Fuck. 
between balls and eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 